Okay, guys, I got one for you today. What is slimy, long, and cold, and smells like pork? Give up? Kermit the Frog's Finger. <laughs> real, 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 real fucked up shit for you today. <laughs> Let me go ahead and tell you about some of that fucked up shit I got for you. Everybody knows about the show hoarders. If you don't know about the show hoarders, you're living under a rock or something out there. This show is a, is amazing. <laughs> amazing in the fact that it inspires me to be extra, extra clean. And uh, I seen one the other night. It, this was the TLC when Buried Alive. That this woman, she couldn't have had me as a social worker. Usually I have pity on somebody. But as soon as I seen this woman and the way she talked and her power stones and whatever, I would have took her fucking kids, snatched them motherfuckers up, grabbed them by the hand, like, come on, kids, we got to get out of here. Like, we was on a fucking boat that was sinking. Because they were on a boat that were sinking. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're going to see a link at the top of this video. It's going to go through the entire video to click um, on a YouTube video that actually shows, like, this episode is broken down into, like, parts in 50-minute intervals. Um... It's fucked up. You should watch it. I'm serious. You should watch this shit. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the key points in this episode that made that made me want to punch this woman in her mouth. First off, the way she silently stalked around and talked like she was superior to other people. I'm like, bitch, you can barely walk. I mean, and this woman is she she's she's a, she's a big lady. I'm using the term lady loosely here, and she might be a loose lady. I feel bad for her husband. I wouldn't even want to kiss this woman, much less have sex with her. But she's not that big of a lady. She's not that big of a woman. I'm way bigger than her. And she's like, I got fibromyalgia. And she's like got this laundry list of, of like diseases and shit. Maybe it's because you can't fucking move around. Maybe it's because you're mountain climbing every time you want to go to the bathroom. And she starts blaming the damn kids for all the trash on the floor. I'm like... How can you blame the kids all the trash for? They didn't create that fucking, you know, Mount Diet Pepsi right beside you. And then they get to her bathroom later on the show, and they don't say anything about it. This woman had, like, wiped her ass and, and threw the toilet paper on the floor. Because, like, I, I guess the water was shut off or something. Wipe your ass and throw the toilet paper on the floor. There's, like, used tampons and needles. Like, she would, like, use a needle for something of her medication and just, like, flick it out into the in the middle of the walkway. Dude, I, for some reason I feel that, that that deserves jail time. I've seen a lot of bullshit, and I've seen a lot of people go to jail for stuff I don't think they should have probably went to jail for. You know, putting your hand on a cop's shoulder to try to get his attention. That's something you go to jail for around here. But you don't go to jail for uh, basically uh, basically risking the lives of your family by, by throwing fucking dirty-ass needles on the floor. I mean, neat. oh man, dude, it, it was horrible. And there's one part of the show I had to stop the show and bring my buddy Brooke in so he so I could point at it and laugh with me. I needed somebody to point at and laugh with me. The bitch like throws a Diet Pepsi thing down on top of her mountain and just uses a grabber to like pick up a roach infested cookie off the floor. Oh, that's another thing. I couldn't live in this house. I mean, I'd have to blow my fucking brains out if I had to stay the night. I couldn't do it, dude. Like, you ever go to somebody's house, and they'd be like, Hey, Jordy, what's up? No, dude, you want to come in? I'm like, okay, okay, I guess I'll come in. You want something to drink, and then you look around the house? Nah, dude, I'm good. I ain't want nothing to drink. <laughs> That's what I've been like in this motherfucker. Uh, I ain't want nothing to drink, dude. I'm good. I go to the store later. Get, go to the store later. <laughs> But man, this house was infested with roaches, dude. I, my skin would be crawling. I'd have to be hyperventilating. I'd, I'd be shutting down. I'd rather they be snakes crawling in the refrigerator than have it like 14 million fucking little German cockroaches just going everywhere. Like, I'm just sort of thinking about it. Like, how nasty can you be? And it, like. Like, one of the first things she does in episode one is, she like, she gets out of bed because she doesn't want to. And then she she moves, like, ten fucking feet, sits down in her chair, and opens up a hot-ass Diet Pepsi and starts to drink out of the bottle. 
Obviously, the Diet Pepsi ain't working for you, Pimp. Because <laughs> look at you. Like, why, why the hell are you drinking it? Oh, my lord. You guys got to see this episode. I had to make this video just for this episode. Because it needs to be seen. As Rednecks always says, I got something you want to see. Alright, people. If you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed the, st the topic of this video, please go ahead and leave me a rating. It helps me out tremendously. And, uh... Hopefully you guys will enjoy this uh, in this video as much as I did because I spent it, ended up spending like two hours looking up straight up filth on YouTube like kids getting took from the nastiest homes you ever see afterwards, and it, it it'll give you something to do for the next three or four hours because it it kept me entertained, and that's what it's all about. Peace, people.